Okay guys, so in this video I want to talk about uniform convergence of a series of a function f of n to a function f. And I'm going to consider two examples. Uh, so first example is going to be f of n of x squared over n, and the second example if f of n is equal to x to the n. And I'm going to consider my x between 0 and 1. So let's draw a couple of functions f1, f2, and f3 for, the, for our first example. We can see that f1 is going to be just x squared, so I'm going to draw my parabola. And f2 is going to be x squared over 2. Or in other words, if I'm going to take f2 of square root of 2, I'm going to have 2 over 2 is equal to 1. So I'm going to have a parabola which is going to be shifted uh, slightly to the right. So that is going to be my f2. Then following the same procedure, I can guess my f3 is also going to be shifted to the right. And if I'm going to increase my n, my parabola every time is going to get shifted to the right. But since I consider the x between 0 and 1, the only part of the parabola that I'm interested in is going to be within that unit square. So you can see that uh, if I'm going to take uh, the part of those parabolas, then they're going to slightly approach a 0 between 0 and 1. So in other words, I want to show that my function, my, that my sequence of a function f of n is going to converge to f uh, equal to 0. First, let's show that it's going to be true that uh, if it converges pointwise. So what I'm going to do, let's fix some uh, number like x0 between 0 and 1. And you can see that if I'm going to choose f1 of x0, f2 of x0, then it's going to get closer, closer, closer to um, 0 if I'm going to increase my n. Or in other words, if I'm going to evaluate this limit, if I want to show it more like algebraic I'm going to factor x not squared and limit 1 over n is equal to 0. So that's why limit of that is equal to 0. And since we can vary our x naught between 0 and 1, and if you're going to do that, you can see based on that picture or just using algebra again, like, or like limit uh, definition, you can show that it's always going to converge to 0. So that's why we have pointwise convergence, but let's figure out what is going to be uniformly convergent. But before that, let's come back to our second example and do the same thing. So uh, first I want to sketch a couple of uh, like terms. So let's find f1, f2, and f3. So f1 is going to be just uh, a function y is equal to x. f2 is going to be again like our parabola. And I'm going to draw it like using uh, the orange color. And f3 is going to be x cube. And you can see in this if we're going to make our n bigger, bigger, and bigger, then our kind of series of function is going to get closer, closer to uh, zero, except one point when x is going to be equal to one. So what is going to be our f in this case? Uh, observe that every time when you're going to uh, take any number, uh, natural number n, then our f of n is going to be uh, at one, uh, always 1. But if you're going to take any other number between 0 and 1, then uh, the value of our functions at that point is going to approach 0. Or in other words, if we're going to show that it's straightforward, let's take just our limit, then first limit is going to be equal to 0 as x, uh, as absolute value of x is strictly less than 1, and our second limit is going to be equal to 1. So we can see that our function f in this case is going to be a uh, constant 0 between a 0 and 1 not including and at 1 is going to be equal to 1. So in other words we just show that our function that our sequence of functions f of n is going to be pointwise convergent to that kind of discontinuous function f. But is it going to be uniformly convergent? And let's guess. What do you think? So for the first one it's going to be yes and for the second one it's going to be no. And let's actually show that. So for the second one, we can use either definition or really powerful theorem. And I'm lazy, I'm going to use really powerful theorem. And next time I'm going to show how to use it using definition. And the, theor the theorem is the following. If you have a sequence of function which is uniformly convergent to some function f, and if each fn is continuous, then I can conclude that my final function f is also going to be continuous. So let's see how we can use this theorem to show that um, my sequence of function in this case is not going to be uniformly convergent. So let's assume it's going to be uniformly convergent. I'm going to prove this by contradiction. And you can also check that f of n of x is going to be continuous as a polynomial function on 0, 1. Then we must have that f must be continuous. 
but as we discussed before my function f is going to be a piecewise function when i have zero when x between zero and one and one when x is equal to one but that function is not continuous so that's why we're going to obtain a contradiction so our original assumption that f is uniformly convergent is false so f uh, is not uniformly convergent uh, for our first problem, uh, let's show that f is uniformly convergent by using definition, and that is for any epsilon there is exists a natural number n, such that every time when you go and choose any x between 0 and 1, then for any small n bigger than n, the difference between my function and my f of n is going to be less than epsilon. But my function is 0, and my original like sequence of function is x squared over n. So if I'm going to write down the epsilon value, then I'm going to obtain just x squared over n minus 0 epsilon value, which is equal to x squared over n. But as x between 0 and 1, then epsilon value of x is strictly less than 1. So that's why that is going to be less or equal to than 1 over n. And the trick right now is, every time we're going to choose some epsilon, we always can choose n big enough that 1 over n is going to be less than epsilon. So then as soon as we have that n, we always can take any number n which is going to be strictly bigger such that uh, that our, our 1 over n is going to be strictly less than 1 over big N. But 1 over big N, as we chose it before, is going to be strictly less than epsilon. So that's why for any epsilon we were able to find big N such that for any small n, the difference between our sequence of functions and original function is strictly less than epsilon. So that's why uh, the, uh, our first example is going to be uniformly convergent.